How long does each planet take to go around the sun? Imagine for a moment that you could observe the solar system from above, the sun shining intensely at the center, and eight planets spinning around it on almost perfect paths like cosmic gears. But what looks like a synchronized dance is actually a race with completely different speeds and durations. Some finish the journey in a few months, while others take more than two centuries to complete a single lap. Today, we're going to find out how long each planet takes to orbit the sun, the length of their days, and the speed at which they travel through space. And get ready, the numbers are so extreme they challenge our imagination. Let's start with Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. It sits about 58 million kilometers from the star which literally puts it inside the solar system's oven. Because it's so close, it completes one orbit around the sun in just 88 Earth days, less than three months. That means if you lived on Mercury, you'd have four birthdays a year. But that orbital speed comes at a price, extreme heat. During the day, temperatures can reach 430 degrees Celsius and at night drop to minus 180 degrees Celsius, since there's almost no atmosphere to retain heat. Now, speaking of rotation, Mercury is surprisingly slow. It spins on its axis once every 59 Earth days. And here's the curious part. It has a 3 to 2 orbital resonance, which means that while it goes around the Sun three times, it rotates twice on its own axis. As for speed, Mercury zips through space at an impressive 47.9 kilometers per second, which is more than 172,000 kilometers per hour, the fastest of all the planets. Next comes Venus, the second planet from the Sun and one of the most intriguing. It's about 108 million kilometers from the Sun and takes 225 Earth days to complete an orbit, almost two-thirds of an Earth year. But what really stands out is its rotation. Venus spins from east to west, the opposite of most other planets, which means the Sun rises in the west and sets in the east. And the most amazing part, a day on Venus is longer than its year. That's right. While a year is 225 Earth days, a Venusian day, a full rotation, takes about 243 Earth days. Imagine living in a place where the sun would appear on the horizon only every eight months. Venus's orbital speed is 35 kilometers per second, or about 126,000 kilometers per hour. Though slower than Mercury, it's still incredibly fast. Venus is wrapped in a dense atmosphere of carbon dioxide and clouds of sulfuric acid which create a colossal greenhouse effect, keeping the average temperature at 465 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. Now we arrive at our home, Earth, the third planet from the Sun, orbiting at an average distance of 150 million kilometers. It takes 365 days and six hours to complete a trip around the Sun, what we know as a year. Those extra six hours are why we add an extra day every four years, the famous leap year. Earth spins on its axis in 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4 seconds, which we round up to 24 hours. This rotation is what gives us the cycle of days and nights. On its journey through space, Earth travels at an average speed of 29.8 kilometers per second, or about 107,000 kilometers per hour. Even at that speed, we don't feel the motion, because everything, the atmosphere, the oceans, and us, is moving along with the planet. Thanks to this stable rotation and the axis tilt of 23.5 degrees, we have the seasons and an average temperature that allows complex life to thrive. Next up is Mars, about 228 million kilometers from the Sun. A year on Mars lasts 687 Earth days, or roughly 1.8 Earth years. It orbits the Sun at 24.1 kilometers per second, which equals 86,000 kilometers per hour. Being farther away, its speed is lower, and that's why its year is almost twice as long as ours. But a Martian day, interestingly, is very similar to Earth's, 24 hours and 37 minutes. This similarity has attracted scientists since the light and dark cycles would be comfortable for humans on future missions. Mars is a cold planet with an average temperature of minus 63 degrees Celsius and a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide. Its reddish hue comes from iron oxide, the rust that coats its surface. If you were born on Mars, you'd celebrate your first birthday only after almost two Earth years. Now we leave the rocky worlds and enter the realm of the gas giants, starting with Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. 
It orbits the Sun at an average distance of 778 million kilometers, taking 11.8 Earth years to complete one lap. Even though it's enormous, with more than 1,300 times Earth's volume, Jupiter spins very quickly on its axis. A day there lasts only 9 hours and 56 minutes, the shortest day of all the planets. This intense rotation makes the planet flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator, an effect known as oblateness. Jupiter travels around the Sun at a speed of 13.1 kilometers per second, or 47,000 kilometers per hour. It might seem slow compared to Mercury, but considering its colossal size, that speed is impressive. Its colorful clouds and gigantic storms, like the Great Red Spot, have been raging for centuries, driven by the energy and powerful winds in its atmosphere. Right after that, we find Saturn, the planet of majestic rings. It's about 1.4 billion kilometers from the Sun and takes 29.4 Earth years to complete one full orbit. In other words, if you were born on Saturn, you'd see your first birthday only at age 30 here on Earth. A day on Saturn is quick, just 10 hours and 33 minutes. Like Jupiter, it spins at tremendous speed, which also makes it flattened at the poles. Saturn's orbital speed is 9.7 kilometers per second, or 35,000 kilometers per hour. Although slow compared to the inner planets, that's an enormous speed for such a massive body, 95 times heavier than Earth. Its famous rings are made of billions of particles of ice and rock, some the size of grains of sand, others as big as entire mountains. Even seen from afar, they remain one of the most fascinating structures in the solar system. Farther still is Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun, at an average distance of 2.8 billion kilometers. It takes 84 Earth years to make a complete orbit around the Sun. Uranus's peculiarity is its extreme tilt. It practically spins on its side. Its rotation axis is tilted by 97.8 degrees, which causes its poles to point almost directly at the Sun for part of the year. A day on Uranus lasts 17 hours and 14 minutes, and it rotates in a retrograde direction, just like Venus, meaning the Sun would rise in the west and set in the east. Uranus moves through space at an orbital speed of 6.8 kilometers per second, or 24,000 kilometers per hour. With an atmosphere made mainly of hydrogen, helium, and methane, that gas gives the planet its characteristic blue-green tint. If you were born on Uranus, you'd only celebrate your first birthday at 84 Earth years, an entire lifetime. At the visible edge of the solar system is Neptune, the eighth planet and the farthest from the Sun. It orbits at a distance of 4.5 billion kilometers and takes 164.8 Earth years to complete one lap. That is, since it was discovered in 1846, it only completed a full orbit in 2011. Despite the distance, Neptune is one of the most dynamic planets, with winds that exceed 2,100 kilometers per hour, the fastest in the solar system. Its day is relatively short, 16 hours and 6 minutes, the result of its rapid rotation. It orbits the Sun at 5.4 kilometers per second, the equivalent of 19,000 kilometers per hour. Because it's so far away, it receives only 0.1% of the sunlight that reaches Earth, which makes it a dark, cold, and mysterious world, with average temperatures of minus 214 degrees Celsius. And finally, we have Pluto, the most famous of the dwarf planets. Although small, just 2,376 kilometers in diameter, smaller than our moon, it still orbits the sun at an average distance of 5.9 billion kilometers. Its year is incredibly long, 248 Earth years. That means Pluto still hasn't completed a single orbit since it was discovered in 1930, but its day is of course shorter than its year, six Earth days and nine hours to spin on its own axis. And it also rotates retrograde, like Venus and Uranus. Its average orbital speed is 4.7 kilometers per second, about 17,000 kilometers per hour one of the slowest among the main objects in the solar system. Because of its very elliptical and tilted orbit, there are periods when Pluto is closer to the Sun than Neptune, which happened between 1979 and 1999. Even so, the Sun there appears only as a very bright point in the sky, nothing like the brilliance we see here on Earth. Now that we've looked at each planet individually, a pattern becomes clear. The closer to the Sun, 
the faster the speed and the shorter the year. The farther away, the slower the speed and the longer the year. This difference is directly related to Kepler's law, which explains that planets closer to the Sun experience a stronger gravitational pull, forcing them to move faster. More distant planets, less influenced by the Sun's gravity, follow slower and wider paths. What's most impressive is realizing that, even traveling at tens of thousands of kilometers per hour, these planets have remained in perfect balance for billions of years. Nothing collides, nothing goes off course. It's like a cosmic clock with unparalleled precision. Each planet is a reminder that time in the universe is relative. What we call a year is just our planet's rhythm. But on other worlds, time flows in a completely different way. On Neptune, a single year would be enough to span several human generations. And on Mercury, four birthdays would fit inside a single Earth year. In the end, what we call time is just a reflection of where we are in space. If you enjoyed racing through this cosmic course with me, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Here, you'll discover much more about the universe, its laws, and the mysteries we're still trying to unravel. After all, we're spinning too, and far too fast to notice. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.